Good morning and welcome to the second installment of my exploration throughout the beautiful landscape of Vancouver Island. I'm currently in Mills Bay, just north of Victoria, waiting for the beautiful sunrise to come up. But as you can see, there's a lot of smoke. That is coming from the mainland, from all the wildfires that are happening out there. Very unfortunate. So, we'll see what happens within the next little bit and beyond that, Let's go exploring. I'm at the Kinsel Trestle, admiring this beautiful piece of history here nestled in the Trans-Canada Trail. This thing is huge. I mean, a long way down. About 166 feet and 417 feet in length. Absolutely stunning. across the Salt Spring Island, which is located on the east end of Vancouver Island. The very southern tip right now, just exploring, getting my bearings uh, situated with this beautiful spot. Right now I'm right by the coastline, there's some beautiful sailboats that are parked out here. That's in the distance, one of the ferries that you can jump onto, one of many out here. It's pretty cool. But yeah, just exploring around, seeing the sights, and uh, let's keep going.
am at Rocco Provincial Park, right by the light, as it's named off the map. And I am out here enjoying the beautiful coastal view that you see behind me. We've got ferries and we've got pontoon planes and we've got sailboats and we've all sorts of transportational devices. Absolutely incredible. Just a different way of life out here compared to what I'm used to out in the prairies. But yeah, I've been traveling around here. Very beautiful location, love this park. Uh, been puttering around a historical site that had a few buildings that some of them were over 100 years old. And just, I love looking at that historical stuff. It uh, brings you back to a time where, you know, like things were a lot more simpler, but just as effective as it is nowadays. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep exploring, gonna keep sightseeing. And uh, yeah, let's get going. I am up at Mount Maxwell, enjoying this astonishingly beautiful view, as you can see. Absolutely gorgeous. Earlier I was down there looking at the boats, and now I am up here. It's just astonishing how in short distances you can see all this variety of landscape. Like the more I'm spending time in BC, the more I am falling in love with this location. It, uh, it's just it gives you the incentive of wanting to get out there and explore when there's so much beauty that's out there. So yeah, I'm gonna keep going. It is Sunday and I am back at Cowichan River. Different view this time. Look at that. Beautiful. And I am here to take the day to myself, relax, recharge the mental and physical battery once again. I want to thank you guys for following and tagging along on my adventures out on the beautiful Vancouver Island. BC has so much to offer in regards of diverse landscape. I just can't help myself and explore as much as I can. Doing this is a sense of escape for me. Uh, I have a regular daytime job that it serves me well, but with anything, it's I got a bit of stress associated with it and having the ability to escape in something as beautiful as this type of landscape offers a sense of just relaxation and a sense of just regaining what I believe attains purpose to me and so yeah I just I hope that by watching these videos maybe for some of you that are looking for some inspiration and looking for some form of just gaining grip on the things that matter to you hope this helps so again thanks and take care <laughs> 